from NBC News, this is Today with Matt Lauer and Meredith Vieira, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. So ahead, is there really a cure for baldness? Too late. <laughs> well, do the creams really work? Or how about this gadget here? It's a comb. It's got lasers wow. in it. You run it through your hair. It's supposed to bring blood to your hair follicles and fatten them up. Well, we're going to put it to the test and see if it works coming up. Okay. And we're back at 12 minutes after 8 o'clock. And this morning on today's Consumer Smarts, it's enough to make you, well, pull your hair out. Every year, 80 million frustrated men and women spend $2 billion in a quest to fight baldness. There is no magic potion just yet, but as today's consumer correspondent Janice Lieberman found out, we may be getting kind of close. Janice, good kind morning. Kind of exciting news for some people. The credibility of hair loss industry got a big boost earlier this year when the FDA cleared this device, the HairMax, a laser comb for helping in growing hair using lasers. That's right, lasers. Wow. Can lasers really regrow your locks? Or is this just another harebrained idea? It's easy to be skeptical. History is full of sizzling claims. Patent medicines, comb-overs, potions, and hair pieces. But hair loss can be devastating. I handled it as long as I could. Four years ago, my son got married, and uh, the pictures came back, and I could see my scalp. Today, medical advances are promising real results. At Florida's Bauman Medical Group, state-of-the-art techniques give balding men and women hope. Hair loss can occur any time after puberty, but sometimes the hair loss sneaks up on you. Not noticeable to the naked eye until you lose about 50% of the density. Bauman can actually analyze your hair to see what the future holds. The moment of truth is about to be revealed. <laughs> sometimes you can have hair here um, that's grown short, thin, and wispy your whole life, and yet the coverage maintains pretty good. So what's the overall on my hair? The prognosis is good. <laughs> I'll live! <laughs> You're gonna do fine. Among Dr. Bauman's tools, the only two drugs approved by the FDA, minoxidil sold as Rogaine, and for men only, finasteride sold as Propecia. On the other end, the big kahuna of hair restoration, transplant surgery, like the kind 37-year-old Jeffrey Ferguson is having. I wanna have more, more of an option or more options as for styling my hair and doing different things with it. First step, an antiseptic wash, and I guess a last chance to reconsider. Go ahead and raise your eyebrows up a little. Then the surgeon plans his attack. It's a day-long procedure that takes a team up to 30 man hours to complete. A piece of scalp is taken from the back where the hair is genetically impervious to balding. You know, feel a little pulling and tugging, uh, sound of reminiscent of a little of Velcro. Well, we'll spare you the close-up. Just know the team harvests follicles from that piece of scalp, separates them, and replants where they're needed most. Jeffrey, how do you feel? I feel great. You do? No problems? No, I don't. Forget the hair plugs. Dr. Bauman has been perfecting the technique for years. He's even performed three transplants on his own father. Jeffrey's a great example of the multi-therapy approach to hair restoration. Transplants don't stop the ongoing hair loss, so he's on the Propecia. He might use laser therapy. He's going to be using that, perhaps. Presenting the hottest new weapon in the arsenal, lasers. They work by boosting the blood supply to your scalp. Laser therapy is going to enhance the quality of your living and growing hair. Your hair is going to grow better, thicker, stronger. Laser light like this is particularly attractive to women who can't use Propecia, don't want to bother with Rogaine gels, and tend not to bald in one spot. Rather, their hair thins all over. There's no mess, no fuss, and now you can take it home. In fact, one brand, the Lexington Hair Max Laser Comb, is the first drug-free treatment the FDA has ever cleared to fight baldness. This is very, very easy, no pain or anything. Attorney Robert Harris has already tried Rogaine and had one transplant surgery. But he says this part is the easiest. His wife loves the results. He gets so many compliments from friends, from his clients, and I just love it. The latest tool in the fight to help the 80 million Americans who yearn to turn back the clock. I felt unfeminine, I felt ugly, I felt unattractive and uh, all of that has changed. I don't ever want to go back to the other way again.
Now, most hair restoration involves a combination of treatments as the patients you've just seen. But what can the HairMax laser comb do all by itself? Well, these photographs were part of the clinical trials submitted to the FDA by HairMax. And you can see just by using the laser comb as directed, most men saw real results. In fact, more than 90% of those tested were able to achieve measurable improvement in quantity and the quality of hair. So the big question, how much is this going to set me back? I mean, set someone back. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave that for you. Just kidding. That's four hundred dollars. They have other ones coming out five fifty. That's the range. And the big Kahuna thirty five hundred dollars. But you need to use it three times a week, ten to fifteen minutes. It's a commitment. Better living through science, Janice. Thanks very much. <laughs> we appreciate it.